this building is going to be more than just a simple structure. It's a symbol of our, the college's, commitment to teaching and learning. Back in 2018, Dr. Leslie Jernberg asked me if we could find a way to house the cyber and CIT programs together. And that launched the discussion for a small technical building. We worked with the Department of Labor on employment projections and focused on the great opportunities along the I-15 Innovation Corridor. Our research confirmed a substantial need for technicians in energy, technology, and the environment. Encouraged by the data, we proposed this much larger building to include not only cyber and CIT technicians, but also agritech, engineering tech, and more. We secured planning and design grants from the EDA and from the state of Idaho. Additionally, securing $1 million grants from the J.R. Simplot Foundation and the Battelle Energy Alliance, along with commitments from many of you, made this dream a reality. $32.2 million has been contributed toward this building by the taxpayers of the state of Idaho. So all of you here today, whether you know it or not, <laughs> have contributed to this building, to the future of CEI, to the future of our students, and to the future of our community. Today we're sending a powerful message to our children and grandchildren. Your future is bright. The community and the state are affirming this belief by investing $50 million in future tech. But the reason we as legislators worked so hard for this project isn't actually about a building. It's about the people. The space is not just about technology. It's about fostering the spirit of curiosity and the joy of discovery. So this is from Kay Ryan, and it, uh, it, it says, I simply want to celebrate the fact that right near your home here, year in and year out, community colleges are, are quietly saving lives and minds. I can't think of a more efficient, hopeful, egalitarian machine with the possible exception of the bicycle.